we been grown Yeah, ten years we been bros Nothing is the same, catch me if you can When all was said and done, we run it back up This is a hot Hey guys, so we just finished our casualty day. As you can see, we're wearing the PPEs. And today was very productive. Samira, you want to come in? Yes. Say hi. Hi. This is my partner for today. These are my unit mates, my fellow casualty people. Hello. So yeah, we just had a half day. So we're going to go back and study camp partner. Yeah. That is the plan. Study camp part, psychiatry, pharmacology. Issues are many here. <laughs> but yeah. Hi, how you doing? I am great. Thank you so much for asking. So I just got back to my room from the hospital and I have a mild headache. I think it's because of the, the heat or whatever. So I'm probably gonna just eat and then take a nap. But before that, I just want to tell you a quick summary of my day. So we got to the hospital. When we got there, it was kind of quiet, like there weren't many patients. What is this thing in my mouth? Look on. Sorry about that. So we got to the hospital and then the doctor just had a little bit of a chat with us, asking us how was fourth year been, asking what are the challenges and also just giving some just like advice and tips, right? And then we were given a patient to clerk, so we did the history, examination, then we presented and the doctor like corrected us on our presentation, like how we had to give a proper summary. So yeah, we took the patient for x-rays and then we, because we were split up right into pairs and then after our, like, our patient got the x-ray and the treatment and was being discharged, we then like reconvened like the whole group, like the whole unit right and then we presented our patient they presented their patient the doctors gave us put more tips and all of that and that was pretty much the day like it felt really short it felt like as soon as we got there we had to leave but you know what? it's okay like we need the time to study because in fourth year we still have other modules but like we still have like you know fifth year six so that's what like i think the main theme we got because even the other doctor who we presented to was like if you don't know anything relax you know you still have time and also, like, in hospital, you don't work alone. There's, like, a team. So you can always consult people, ask them for help, ask them to show you. I think especially, and he even said that the time where you actually learn the most is when you're an intern. Because that's when, um, you know, also it depends on the hospital you get to, right? But if you, you know, show initiative and also you can find someone who's going to, you know, take your hand and lead you through the basics. Because, obviously, we all start somewhere. And, yeah, I think I really needed that. Because I feel like with COVID and everything, I feel like I felt, I feel like a lot of medical students now feel like we're at a disadvantage we feel like we're not adequately prepared but that's neither here nor there i think another thing i enjoyed today is because we've been doing a lot of online stuff since obs ended it's just been online 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 so i don't even feel like a medical student anymore you know but today just you know reignited that passion that i have or rather like the enjoyment i find from medicine but yeah, that's the little update for today. Now I'm just going to eat. I have to study for pharmacology and all the other bajillion tests that I choose. Like, I think we have only like three weeks of the academic year left. So like the pressure, it's a lot. But we move, so. Good morning, you guys. So I'm trying to work with the lighting here because the sun's like right behind me. But today it's, I think, Wednesday child i lost track of the days because um last time i had to attend physically was the saturday um casualty day because yeah monday we didn't have any class and then yesterday's session was online so today i'm on my way to skill center we're gonna do like a revision of cpr because we were taught cpr in first year and assessed on it but then we be doing it again right because obviously that's like a basic like if we need to know how to do cpr let me try holding the camera like this so at yeah, the time now i'm like kind of late so i actually don't have the time to make this update but i just thought i wanted to just come in quickly because i don't think i'll be too late i left rest at like 10 to 9 and it's maybe like a depending on how fast i walk 10 to 15 minute walk to skill center from my res so that's the quick little update for now um yeah okay, so i'm walking backwards because of the sun but I was wrong in my last update when I said that I'm gonna be on time because it's like two minutes to eight and 
yeah i'm not gonna make it on time but i'm having one of those at least i showed up type of mornings because last night i couldn't fall asleep for some reason and then this morning i couldn't get out of bed so it honestly was a struggle for me but yeah let me let me actually be a good student actually make an effort to be on time and not just be like whatever it is what it is so So I'm um, on my way to class. We are all literally all my unit mates are here. We are all rushing <laughs> because we got a message saying, guys, the doctors today are strict on time. So we are trying to push. Mara, I'm hoping they're at least five minutes late now, because I. God knows I tried to be on time today, but even these other doctors, they make you wait. So even lose that thing yeah. to be on time. But yeah, there's no time for updates. We have how, how much time we have left? Three minutes. Three minutes. Ah, we're almost there. I can see skills. We'll make it, guys. Yeah. We'll, and they can't chase the whole class out. It's literally <laughs> almost half the class is walking right now. So yeah, I'll update you guys later. Hiya. So we got to class. The doctor's not here, thankfully. But they said the doctor's very strict. The thing is, what you time? must wait for the doctor. The doctor must wait for you. That's yeah, how it works. That's just how it works. Yeah. No. It's the hierarchy. We are, at the, we are at the bottom of the food chain. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> Hi. You're back. These doctors don't rate us. Look at the time. You know what happened? So we just got word from our group leader that they got the dates mixed up. So they didn't know that to come apparently. So they're on their way now. Could take them anything between 20 and 30 minutes. So that really sucks. Because I After rushed to get here. We well, all rushed. We all rushed. Everyone rushed to get here. We're trying to make it on time for this class. Imagine if you a student got mixed up with the dates. Ooh. All hell would break loose. Ooh, I'm trying to fix this lighting, but I can't because I'm rushing to my room. So we finished the session at 12 and my selective has already started and today i have to do a presentation for my selective which is online so i have to go all the way to my room because there's no way on campus where you can really like present and so luckily for me my group because we were the we were we, our, we were supposed to have we had the first session of ent and the doctor showed up but group b the doctor for ophthalmology hadn't arrived yet he only arrived when we were starting our second session so group b they had to stay behind and have their next session from 12 to 1 which wouldn't have worked for me so i don't know if you guys can hear me i'm so out of breath Ooh, i'm like five minutes away from my room so i can do my presentation wish me luck fighting okay guys so yeah i finished my presentation um all right i'm going to show you guys my wall i don't think you guys have seen this you know layout so yeah over there that is 80s there there's my bias you know and mingi mm. behind me is blackpink i think you know the blackpink poster and that is bts nothing to do with anything i just had to just i just wanted to talk about that um but anyways um yeah so i finished my presentation i think i think it went well the only problem is i think i spoke too fast like i'm doing right and like i don't know why today i'm it's like i'm catching some train because i remember when i finished my, when i finished my presentation i was so out of breath and i feel like while presenting i was like mumbling or stumbling over some words because of the fact that i was just like rushing through it Another thing is, because I was the second presenter, I found myself comparing my presentation to the, to the person who's currently presenting. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. But you know what? I just had to tell myself, calm down. Like, I did put in effort. I'm pretty sure the effort and the amount of research I put in is going to show. If you're interested, I, I did a presentation on starvation and neglect. Not the happiest topic, I will say. Not the happiest topic. But it was quite interesting. So, yeah, right now I'm going to have lunch. And so the plan for the rest of today is I have an online CPR test that I need to do. It opened last night. It's open for like three days. So what I'll do it today, get over and done with. Hopefully, because there's two attempts, hopefully I get a decent mark on the first attempt. So I don't have to do it again because time is money, girl. Ain't no one to do a test multiple times. So I'll do that. Need to study for pharmacology, chemical pathology, and psychiatry. And then... Yeah, I think that's about it because tomorrow's class is online, so I'm not I'm not gonna vlog that. And then next week we're gonna go to the clinic, I believe, for CS for like longitudinal service training, whatever that means. 
I know what that means, but just if you don't know, if you know, you know, and this update's getting long, I'm hungry, my arm's getting tired, it is what it is, so I'll see you in the next one. Good morning, guys. So I'm on my way to Skill Center because we're going to have an orientation for a longitudinal service training. Um, my hair's in these twists because I was just like, I, I was too lazy to do anything about it. So I just twisted up over the weekend. Today, and like this whole week is hectic for me because I have a chemical pathology test today. Tomorrow is pharmacology and Wednesday it's psychiatry. So there's a lot happening. Um, right now we're going to have an orientation and then I think it's two or three days from now we're going to go to the clinics to practice and then next week we're going to do like a clicking of a patient for an assessment so that's pretty much what's up for today i'm feeling kind of overwhelmed by all the pressure that's on me this week but I'm so team it is what it is <sighs> hey y'all just got back to my room honestly i am not okay like first of all this heat the heat today is insufferable secondly i have a headache which I don't know if it's caused by the heat, I don't know if it's stress or if it's lack of sleep because I barely slept last night. And then there's today's test, which by the way is an accumulative, so it's the work of the entire year. Tomorrow's test of pharmacology is also an accumulative, so it's the work of the entire year. And then Wednesday, like I mentioned, it's the end of block for psychiatry. So this week, <clears throat> I'm joking. This week is just, it's a hellish week. I mean, like, there are only two things keeping me alive. First of all, um, I ordered two um, K-pop albums for NCT 127 Favorite and Wavy Take Over the Moon. Was it Take Over the Moon? Yes, Take Over the Moon that I ordered. They're arriving this week. My only stress is I hope they don't arrive while I'm within a test or when I'm attending. Like last week would have been the best time for these albums to arrive because last week I was attending online almost the entire week. Right? I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have any tests. But we'll figure that out. And the second thing keeping me alive is this week. Friday, yeah, Friday. On Friday, I'm getting another episode of my current favorite show, Bad Buddy. Like, check out Bad Buddy, the series. It's available for free on YouTube. Yes, I am plugging the show. It's becoming personality trait. Might even make a whole video about it. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, now, the time now, it's like half past 12 ish, and I'm writing my test at 2. So, just gonna eat, relax drink some painkillers i would nap but i'm scared of oversleeping and missing the test and with this headache i know if i just if i drank some painkillers and slept it would be better but that's not an option so hopefully by the time i write i'll feel better but yeah this update is getting long so so um i just got back to my room the time now it's like five minutes to one o'clock i'm gonna write my pharmacology test in like an hour ish time um, by the way, the psychiatrist is supposed to write tomorrow has been postponed because that test was scheduled to be written in a venue. But now because of the fact they've been um, like there's been a recent outbreak of COVID on campus. So they like they said that all all um, non-clinical assessments and stuff should be done online. Only the clinical stuff should be done in person. So, you know, part of me is kind of like, damn, this test, we're never going to get it done. But also another part of me is like, oh, I can breathe, child, because I think Kemp Park yesterday and then um farm today and having a test tomorrow is going to be too much i still have other assignments to do but yeah that's neither here nor there just a brief summary of today so today i was late this morning i was so late and late and unbothered which do not recommend guys you know if you're late at least you know try to do things but the reason being i overslept because i stayed up studying for pharmacology so this morning was just it was touch and go trying to get ready at least i showed up for the class um today's session was very much a very much a practical session we were doing um basically an approach to a trauma patient and we're doing like um simulations of you know how to um treat a patient that you know shows up to you at casualty basically that's sort of what we were doing so um yeah next week we're gonna have like a practice session of it because we're gonna have an oski based on that and then Thursday, we're going to go out in the community. Like, this block is just, there's a lot going on. Um, I think Family Medicine also has, Family Medicine has to do an ECG assignment, which I look at it, and I'm just like, ooh, child. That ECG is kind of scary, but yeah, I'll have to sit down, interpret it. Also, have an online assessment for um, in Intermediate Emergency Medicine, which is apparently going to open tonight. So, I just want to do that, you know. So, because I'm not writing pharmacology tomorrow, today I want to focus on doing um, all the assignments that are due. I want to do, like, I know for, I have to do for LSL, 
when you go to the community i have to answer some questions i want to get a start on that ecg assignment and if that thoracic test for intermediate emergency medicine i don't know why i struggle to say that if that test opens tonight i'm going to do it if latest tomorrow but yeah that is that is today's little update and um oh on the album i think i mentioned that with my k-pop album in the previous update so it's currently scheduled for delivery in pretoria that's what i lost so at 10 o'clock this morning so i'm hoping at this rate looking at the time i hope they just deliver it tomorrow and not while i'm writing my test and my voice is going let me just end this update right here guys hi guys so we are in the bus right now on our way to new york jj we were gonna basically screen patients we're gonna have like a practice patient today that we're gonna do like a full history full examination it's like, a, like that's block book is so big and then on Monday, we're going to do the real patient for Mark. So, I don't know if you guys can see through the window, but it's, the weather today is kind of cloudy. It was raining this morning. So, hopefully the community will be cooperative and hopefully the weather won't interrupt. But, honestly, I'm not here. I'm just, I'm just here, but I'm not here, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's the update for today. Oh, for now. St. John's Apostolic Faith Mission Church. That's where we were meeting the patients. We had like a hall, and so it's people who are staying at the church. And so, Mina, personally, I didn't finish clicking my patient. I didn't finish documenting everything, but at least it's a practice patient. So on Monday, I'll do better and I'll do best, and hopefully, I get a cooperative patient. But yeah, that's it for today's little update. Until the next one. Hey guys, so yeah, today we did the assessment of our patients. Um, I was able to finish, though the only thing eh, I got stuck as was what is the management? How do I manage my patient? Because he lived, the only complaint was itchy eyes. I was like, um, like there was nothing else, no headache, nothing. But at least today I was able to finish and like all the relevant sections, like I was like I planned my time accordingly. I had a strategy on how to ask the questions. We just had food, like they gave us, like we had like these beans, eggs, cucumbers and tomatoes and like bread. So good. But yeah, that's the update for today. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Morning, guys. So today is our OSCE day, and the doctors are late. Tingbon, how late are they? It's almost 25 to 9. Almost 25 to 9. So we start at 8 o'clock. I'm even losing that thing about it's OSCE. Like, I'm already in the December mode. Meanwhile, I still have two more assessments after this. I am. Um, what's happening with me? Tell us. I feel black. I'm tired. I'm tired. I, I don't. I just want to finish. That's how I feel. I just need this year to end. Like literally, third years are gone. I think fifth years are still around, but still it's just. Those ones are still around. Shame. 
It's a lot for me. So, wish me luck on this Oski. Be done with this yes, but <laughs> right now, in, in the moment, I need the luck, you know? <laughs> yeah, so hopefully it goes well. And then tomorrow's test goes well. Then we'll be. Psychiatry goes well. I feel like, honestly, after today, I feel like today is just the biggest. Today is like you face your fears, you know? Yeah, but that's a little update. Fine. We'll be fine, guys. Bye. Hey guys, so I survived the OSCE. Let me give you guys a quick summary slash breakdown of what went down. I don't know if you guys heard that it was like some bang or something, whatever. So yeah, the OSCE was basically 27 stations. Each station was like five minutes, but in between there were rest stations. Um, they were, they were like some of the stations we were like talking to a doctor or we'd have like a simulated patient and others we were like writing. It was like written stations. And so overall, I think it went well. I think the, the station that I'm most confident in that I did well in was the visual equity, which is basically where you test vision using the Snellen chart, which is, you know, that chart that has like the letters of the alphabet and you have to like read them. Like, if, especially if you have glasses, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. And in that station, right, I did everything. And the doctor at the end was like, you know, when you walked in here, I didn't think you were going to know all the answers, but you actually did know how to do everything. So just work on your confidence because she was saying it's very clear that I know the content, but you know, my demeanor... And I think it's just like the nature of OSCE does make one anxious. But I think also another thing is I'm going to need to start preparing OSCEs a lot earlier in advance. I think the reason why also I lack confidence is because some of these things I literally only looked at last night, you know. So I didn't wasn't really sure, mm, am I doing the right things? So yeah, um, this is basically me. I'm done with the academic year. The academic year is not done with me, but I am done. Like I have two tests actually. I have the, the written test for combined, which is mainly going to be like family medicine. And then... On Wednesday, I have the psychiatry end of block that has been postponed. Lord knows how many times. Like at, like at some point, I even lost track of the reasons why it kept being postponed. Like it was first a strike. And then apparently because they had to switch it to online, they couldn't have it be done online. But that's neither here nor there. My arm's getting tired, which is a sign that I've been talking for too long. So if you stay till this point, thank you so much for watching. Please do remember, give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on how you're feeling. Also feel free to subscribe and share this video. And yeah, this this pretty much wraps up. The next time you'll see me in a med school vlog, I will be a fifth year student. So until then, bye.